Hey everybody, I'm gonna be reviewing a website real quick, just kind of helping websites understand some of the things that can be focusing on these final two weeks. Um, so I actually already have a website up, it's called the Easter Rising. And as you can see, we're here on the home page. Um, so again, I'm just gonna really review like what I like about this website and what I think you could be modeling after it. Um, remember, modeling after like website style is not plagiarism, it's not copying, it's just actually you know borrowing something that you think is really well done and then creating for your own. Because what you'll do is you'll borrow it, but you'll actually edit a little bit to make it your own style. So again, I'm just gonna cover some things that I think you could be including in your own website. Um, also, before I get started, remember we have now two weeks left of website creation before you actually have to submit it and the website gets locked. So we do want to make sure that we are using this two weeks wisely. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get into it. Uh, as you can see, we have some tabs up here that are really well done. These tabs have extra stuff inside them, so if I hover over them, we do these things, which is pretty cool. I like the title being nice and big. I like this photograph in the background as well. So we have a nice big main title, and then we have a smaller title right here. It's all part of the same thing. If I scroll down, we have a caption right here. The caption is for this picture. Important to remember, captions don't count towards your word count. The only thing that counts towards your word count is your own original words. So if you're my students, we have that Google Doc where we've written all of our original words into boxes. And those boxes really should be the only thing that's counting towards your word count, okay? So this caption's good, and you want to make sure every picture has a caption. It needs to say, you know, where the location is if it's not obvious. So like right here, this image above. We have the name of the image, Man in the Barricades. We have where it comes from, and then the time period. Next, we have a quote. I like how the obviously the quotes are quotation marks are right here, and I also like how it's in a different color. That tells me that everything in green is going to be a quote. And then down here, we actually have who it's from, and they change the color again. So it's important to remember, again, none of this stuff I'm highlighting counts towards your word count. But it's really good to include quotes and information like that that are going to be related to your page. Go ahead and scrolling down to our thesis. So this, is the, this block right here is the first time I've seen any original words. And I'm going to go ahead and say this now. These original words should be doing its best to wrap everything that's around it into defending the thesis. So right here, this is probably the thesis itself. And these things are all backing it up. Now, you don't really get time to explain how this picture or how this quote's supporting the thesis. It should be obvious based off what these two things are. Remember, you only have 1,200 words. So you have to really spend a lot of time thinking, okay, what's a picture? What's a quote? What's a piece of information I could write? And how could I design it to make it look you know, appe like appealing like this? I've seen a lot of projects where people like just stack up things, like right here, for example thing I'm highlighting, they'll just have everything looking like this, and they'll just stack it right here, stack it right here, stack it right here. That doesn't look really good. You want to block things. That means like you just want like a paragraph right here, a quote under it, a completely separate section with the photograph. That looks really nice. So again, I like that. I like how they did this bottom part too. They tell you exactly how many minutes of multimedia they have. They have student words uh, count. They have a lot of good stuff right here. So again, we want to be trying to recreate that. Moving down to historical context, again, I'll just end it with this one. We have a nice title with a different picture. Again, we have a caption. And then we have a bit more information. Here we have a description. So again, these, are, these would be student-generated words. We have a quote right here, once again in green, so we're staying consistent. More pictures, pictures, more description. So hopefully you're seeing kind of what looks good. I really like this website, the way they lay it out. Uh, the photographs are very creative. We have a good primary source right here. And I would assume this primary source should be talking about or dealing with what's in here, these student-generated words. We have another section. It's very obvious, the section, because we have two lines right here and a new title. And if we look, again, black means student-generated words, greens quotes. And again, you kind of see that this is just repeating itself. A good website has these themes that repeat themselves. So now that I know every single green should be quotes, these black words should be student-generated words. Okay. Also, like how they're switching it up a little bit. They have a pro they have uh, photographs that are actually now cycling through. That's really cool. More photos, photos. Really, you know, this is just uh, it shows you how much you can really do with primary sources. Like, let's count real quick. They have one, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 
They have 23 pieces of evidence. Now, that's saying it's what every single page needs to look like, and that's not what every single person needs to do, but that would be a very good example of what a website going to nationals would look like. A lot of pieces of evidence. And I know that's not everyone's ambition, but remember, there's also some scholarships at stake too. So if you want to do well, you want to go to state, you want to enjoy yourself, definitely be considering doing these things, okay? Also, reach out to me if you need any help. If you're having a hard time adding stuff or finding more information, again, please let me know. That's pretty much it. You guys take care. Hopefully your projects are going well. Bye.